Hi everyone. So last session we have seen that. So how to load that first record to one target and last target to the target. So now we'll see that the last scenario. So convert the not convert. So just like I this is the scenario they give. So usually it's converting the row into column. Okay. So now I have a table like this. So I have a three columns. So but I want to load all this three records like into one column. So how can we implement uh, informatic level or, or else they may ask what are the different ways we have so if they ask in the etl level so you can use the expression transformation and you can load it or else if your source is the relational you can write a query over there and you can load that okay two ways we can perform this one one is by writing a query suppose your source is a flat file then you have to use the expression transformation suppose your source is a relational, you don't need to go with the expression. Directly, you can write a query in the source qualifier level, you can achieve this. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so first we'll see uh, by using expression, how can we perform this kind of activity? First, let me create a simple table for this. Create table. Mm. Convert something, convert source. So C1, where care of five, let's see. So C3 and C2. Okay, so three columns and Target should contain only one column. Create table convert target. I have mentioned only one column called C. Where care of five. Done. Okay. Test source and table is source and target is ready. So for our next step, we have to import into Informatica environment. Scott. Okay, and target. Okay, one column. That's it. So now Go and create a mapping M underscore. Okay, so this is our source. This is your target. So your source is relational now. You can write a query and you can perform it. So what is the query you can write? It is. So always, whenever you are writing some query, better to, before implementing in ETL level, better to test in the database. If it's working fine in the database, you can paste the same query in the source qualifier, okay? So first, it should work in the database. Then only it works in the Informatica. If it is not working here, it, it won't be working in the ETL also. So whenever you are implementing some query, first, it just try to test in the DB level. Then you use the same query in the ETL. Okay, select now C1 as C from this. Okay, no data as of now, but I will insert a data. So, union. C2. As C again union. Okay. So you as you know that right union all you just load all the duplicates. So now this is the query you want. So see now I am getting only one column, even though so this particular C I'm running it. Convert S. I'm just running it. Now see, you got three columns, but I just aliased it and 
I am using a union all. I am getting a single column now. This is the query you should write to get a single column. So now, first what we'll do is we'll insert some data, then you will understand this. So I have mentioned my name. Okay, I've given only five characters. Just let's let's remove the uh, so I do like here one, here two, and three. Okay, commit successful. Now you see the data here. One, two, three, you got it. So whenever I load the data into my target, I should get like a this. One, two, okay, two is there. One, two, three. Sorry, here C3. That's not part. So now see one, two, three. This is what the expected result. So only thing is anyone asking interview if you get because this scenario is frequently they are asking it. So how you are getting this? So you have to use a union. Okay. Or else you can use the expression transformation. So both will see now. If they want query, you can give this query. So if they want how you can implement? Yes, you can write this query in source qualifier or else it's a flat. If, if you say this type of query, right? What they do is, okay, it's a flat file. Can you tell me what is the approach? Then you can say that by using expression, you can do that. Okay, that is what you can do. So now what I'll do is, I'll just paste this query here where the source qualifier. Because it's a relation. So let me create a workflow for this. What? What is the target? Now you see here one, two, three. So what is our source data? See? So this is the one way. So if they were ask ask you to give me the query, you can give this query. If if you give this query, again they will ask a scenario. Same scenario, my source is flat file, then how you can implement it? Now we'll see that. If it's a relational, you can give this query, or else only if they ask query, you can explain this query. Okay. If now let's assume this is like a your source is like a flat file. So flat file, we cannot write any query, right? So remove the query now. So now this time you have to use three targets because three columns you have okay i'll just copy that mm. 
okay three in so now what you can do take a expression 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 c1 to 1 c2 to this c3 will be here now connect this connect this connect this and it on yes arrange all for mapping is ready so now refresh over go here and just check that you have three targets always make it normal apply now before that let me truncate the target data okay good for target no data source having one row so now what we'll do and what I'm going to do is just run it so now see here now you go and see the target data. See now, one, two, three. So this is the way we can achieve this scenario. So if anyone asks interview, they just explain this. Way. So that's all for today. So we'll see you in the next session with different topic.